It's been wild, too. My parents got the Rona while I was down here, which is crazy. Yeah, I know. They're okay. They're good, which is nice. <laughs> you guys okay? You're like, I don't know. They sound kind of shitty, dude. <laughs> no, they were great. That was my favorite part about my parents getting COVID. Is that they were okay. Actually, my favorite part about my parents getting COVID is the fact that I know I didn't give my parents COVID. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like that same feeling as when you find out your ex is pregnant and you know you're not the dad. You're like, I didn't knew that. It wasn't me. I'm cool. Yeah. That is every man's biggest fear is that he's going to get his ex pregnant. <laughs> like, for every man, no relationship is actually over till 28 days after that relationship. <laughs> yeah, for men, a relationship is like a sentence. It's not over till the period. <laughs> I got that same app on my phone. I'm not shocked my parents got the Rona though. Mostly because of the fact that my mom is way too friendly. My mom is the sweetest woman on earth. Like my mom would open mouth kiss a stranger if they asked her nicely. <laughs> She'd be like, they seem sad, they asked, I don't know. <laughs> and old people here in Florida would walk up to you without a mask because they're all just ready to die. <laughs> yeah, they're like a Biggie Smalls album. <laughs> yeah, they're hoping for life after death. My parents were good about the mask, though. I was really proud of them for that. That was the, the, some people hated the mask. I, I, you know, I had no problem with them. I'm a fan of science. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I so saw something. I like that I can free ball this face to the world now, though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I was actually on a hike a couple months ago with one of my friends and I was wearing my mask and he was giving me shit about it. He was like, why are you wearing that mask right now, dude? There's nobody else around. And I was like, I wear this mask for the same reason I wear a condom. Cause I don't know who the fuck was there before me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, masks were like condoms for your face. Like whenever I saw a dude out in public not rocking a mask, I just assumed his dick was riddled with STDs. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that dick looked like an old banana, you know? Very spotty, little yellow, kind of crooked. <laughs> also, by the way, you know that dude who's rocking a mask with his nose just sticking over the top? That's the dude who asks, hey, can I put in just the tip? <laughs> also, by the way, men, the tip is the worst part. That's where the cum comes out of. Stop asking to put that in. Like if a dude, like ladies, if a dude says, hey, can I put in just the tip? You'd be better off going, hey, how about just the balls? Because <laughs> that's where they keep the cum, but nobody's getting pregnant, you know what I mean? Like you'd be better off going in soft and sideways. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> My friend too was giving me shit too. He was like, I feel like you're wearing that mask because you don't trust me. And I was like, yeah, motherfucker, I don't. He was like, that's fucked up. Why don't you trust me? And I was like, dude, you got herpes from a stripper in Dallas in your 30s. <laughs> like, if that shit happened in your 20s, I understand. People make mistakes. And he was like, that's fucked up. You know I was drunk. And I was like, motherfucker, I was blacked out from 13 to 29, and my dick still looks like it rolled off the factory floor. <laughs> that's not totally true. I got this one weird scar in the bottom, but we don't have time to get into that tonight. Yeah, just know I was 13, I was wearing a condom to the mall, I was trying to be ready at all times. <laughs> yeah, there was a manager for every 21 I was very fond of. <laughs> so maybe today, maybe today. <laughs> <laughs>